Hello ladies, gentlemen, and persons in between. My name is Tim Snowborn, and today we're going to consult the Oracle of Artificial Intelligence to see into the future on this episode of Serious Issues. So I've talked before about the insane amount of data that is generated every minute of every day on the internet and the tools for analyzing that data and finding trends and patterns and associations among the data. And perhaps the craziest use of those tools that I think we're going to see in the not too distant future is the ability of artificial intelligence to predict the future. This is called predictive analytics. This is already happening in relatively small scales in different fields. AI can't predict the future with perfect accuracy, I doubt that it ever will, but it can already predict the future with a high degree of accuracy in certain fields and I think that as computers become more powerful and the tools for collecting and analyzing data become more and more sophisticated, AI will be able to predict the future with greater and greater accuracy in the decades to come, which has all kinds of crazy implications. So here are five fields in which I think predictive analytics is going to have a huge impact in the future. Number one, sports scores. You've seen Back to the Future 2. You remember the almanac? Imagine how the world would change if everyone had access to that sports almanac. I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings for all you fantasy football players out there, but who's going to want to play when everyone knows who's going to win and what the score is likely to be? The bookies who take bets on sporting events will go out of business because people will be able to know which teams are going to win and which teams are going to lose and what the scores are going to be. Ticket sales for live games will go down because who's going to want to attend them if they know that their team is going to lose? Number two, health issues. We can already sequence everyone's genome and predict how likely they are to develop one disease or another. In the next decade or two, AI will be able to predict with a pretty high degree of accuracy whether or not you're going to develop a certain condition by a certain date or at a certain age, it'll be just be, it'll just be easier and easier to predict if and when you are likely to develop a certain disease. And that will revolutionize healthcare and insurance, assuming we still have private insurance in America by this time. Your insurance agency will know pretty far in advance whether you're going to develop a certain disease. If they were benevolent, they would prepare for that and try to treat you in advance to prevent it. But being the carnivore capitalists we all know they are, they'll probably just drop you from your insurance plan before you get sick. Knowing which health problems you're likely to develop will obviously help you prepare for those problems in advance. This, along with other advances in medical technology, will likely result in longer lifespans. Although if we don't figure out how to reverse or at least slow the aging process, it could mean that you're just going to end up an ever more grotesque pile of wrinkles. In fact, AI may even be able to predict when and how you die, barring any, ironically, unforeseen accidents. Number three, natural disasters. Now obviously the weather is subject to the butterfly effect, which is part of the reason that I think that AI will never be 100% accurate at predicting the future, but I think that AI will make predicting the weather much more accurate in, in the future. Again, Back to the Future 2. Remember when it was raining and Marty didn't want to get out of the car and Doc Brown said, hang on a minute, and then it stopped raining a minute later? Well, this is going to extend into natural disasters. Even earthquakes, I've seen headlines saying that they're working on helping AI to predict earthquakes in the future. But certainly AI will be able to predict hurricanes much, much sooner and be able to predict the path of the hurricanes much, much sooner. And people will be able to evacuate much, much sooner. The AI will probably even be able to estimate the damage cause. I guess we can already predict tsunamis pretty well. I mean, AI might be able to sharpen that, but we've kind of got that covered. Number four, the stock market. Again, like the weather, the stock market is very much subject to the butterfly effect. There's almost an infinitude of variables that have to be factored in to know how the economy is going to go one way or the other, but I still think that a powerful enough AI is up to the task, and that's going to have implications for the stock market. Knowing the future is going to be able to allow stock traders to know which stocks to sell and which to buy, and this will eventually filter down to you and me. Eventually, we will have access to some kind of software that's going to be able to tell us the rise and fall of the stock market, and we will know which stocks to sell and which to buy. I don't know if this is going to be a good thing for the stock market or a bad thing for the stock market, but I really think this is going to happen in the next decade or two. Number five, the last area that I think predictive analytics is going to have a big impact is in elections. Analytics is already being used to predict elections and predict which bills are going to make it through Congress. But I think that in the future, again, 
As computers get more powerful and the tools for collecting and analyzing data get more and more sophisticated, we're going to be able to predict elections and legislation with a greater and greater degree of accuracy. Analytics is already being used to predict voter turnout and voter behavior and help campaigns figure out when, where, and how to reach a given voting block with a certain candidate's message. Now, if AI can predict who's going to win an election and how legislation will move through Congress, that's going to go a long way toward predicting the stock market because it's going to know which legislation is going to pass and how that legislation is going to affect the stock market. This leads me to an unofficial sixth thing that I think impacts all the other areas that I've mentioned so far. One of the many factors that AI is going to have to consider when it tries to predict the future is the impact of its previous predictions on the world. It's going to have to think to itself, okay, I predicted this is what's going to happen. This is what the humans are going to do in response. This is how it's going to change that prediction. And here's the new prediction and around and around we go. Eventually, it'll reach a kind of psychic singularity, an unavoidable cycle of influence in which new predictions are made based on the old ones, and who knows what it's going to do then. Maybe it'll be like that story, The Evitable Conflict. If any of you have ever read the, the Asimov series, iRobot, the actual books, not that movie, where there were those four supercomputers that basically ran the world and told us how to optimize our resources so that everyone would have a high standard of living. So tell me what you think. Do you think that AI can or will be able to predict the future? What kind of impact do you think that's going to have on the world in the coming decades? I appreciate you joining me for this conversation. I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, thank you in advance for subscribing. Please check out my other videos for previous conversations and please join me for future ones. My name is Tim Snowborn and we'll talk more next time.